Hey everyone and welcome to episode 2 of the Liechtenstein Challenge. In episode 1 we beat Helgen and Mann of Lithuania and now we've got CSK Sofia in the Europa second round conference playoff. Can we do it? Let's find out. <laughs> back everyone and thank you very much for watching the first video if you haven't done so there will be a link to the video somewhere around here but yes we have got a game today against csk 1948 sofia in bulgaria we are going to be playing those two games today and hopefully we can get through to the third round i will show you both of these games today as well as the game that we played against scion in the league just in between the helgeman game and the sofia game so strap yourselves in and enjoy the episode. And if you haven't done so already, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. As I said at the start of the video, we do have those games against CSK 1948, but I do want to show you the first game we had in the league against Scion, which I'll do now. Really under pressure from the get-go against uh, Scion. A good save from Brukel in the 12th minute against Ruref. But we did get a chance in the 29th minute from Tim. Unfortunately, it was offside, but we were working really well on the counter and then in the 54th minute i didn't instantly think this was a penalty from poa but it did go um i believe to we didn't no we didn't have VAR in this game but tim's stepped up scored the penalty and we were up one nil and then we sustained the pressure from uh scion after this they constantly bombarded us with a lot of chances, but never really took advantage, unfortunately, for them. Sion did get a goal, but luckily for us, it was upside, and we did secure the 1-0 victory. But that has put us third in the league, just behind Ville and Aru. Good start of the season so far, hopefully it can continue, but now let's focus on the big game, which is CSK Sofia. So here we are at the game, guys. We are going to be playing away first in Bulgaria. Um, I don't know a lot about their team. The only suggestion that they've gave me is to press Vatov. Um, they also are suggesting that we go a little bit positive. I don't feel the need to do that. Um, I think we're going to go with the same team or pretty similar team that beat Sion 1-0. Uh, so Gasser on the right and Crouchy on the left because Stober for me hasn't been playing particularly well. Um, also Chabi on the left as well. I think that's really only our alternative. The the only other option that we've got really to play is Hasler. Um, but he's not particularly grand for a European game. Maybe in the cup. Um, but I'm not seeing it. We still have um, a number of injuries. I think I'm going to go with my player there, Emir, is in terms of just somebody to put on the bench now. Amateur player that really doesn't do it. But Varian's been scoring goals. Djurjic has been really good um, going further forward. Fitness level-wise, we're a little bit tired, but I think what we can do as an alternative to that is we can at least play these guys for the first 45 minutes and then we have at least... Um, got players on the bench like Visor, Fair, um, Kevgin if we need to, Stober as well as another one, and Traba, and Isik um, that can potentially do a job um, for us if we need to. So I'm just going to do the opposition instructions and then we'll get straight into the game. It does seem like that everybody seems to be positive about the uh, attack that we went for and positions and stuff like that. I've gone with a balanced mentality, but I'm just going to say we are. The pressure is all on them. Um, I will. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried that we've got a lot of complacent uh, players in the team. But hey ho, here we go. Second round. Let's see how we get on. We're going with our 4 4 2 again. Sophia are going with a 4 2 3 1. We're going to be kicking off. Let's see how we get on. If we can get any result here, that would be a positive, I think. Okay. 
Jojic through here. Get in, Jojic. 1-0. Nice assist from Vary in there as well. Much needed. Good start for us. It's come from Buchel's uh, gold kick. On Vary and, and Jojic just slots it in. 1-0. Good start. Corner from us. From a Gollard free kick. Krauski. Big Tim. Saglan. He's got a hit on him. Put it that way, I'll give him that. He's definitely a better alternative at right wing, I think. We are losing the ball in uh, key areas of the pitch, but I think we're just setting back with the 4 4 2, which is nice. I am just looking at a few of the fitness down below. Pedrinho. I want to say it's not been coming, but yeah, they've definitely turned it up since we scored. It was a good assist from uh, Daskalov. Daskalov. Yeah, it was a good assist from Daskalov to Pedrinho, and nobody's marking him. Good recovery from Gollard there. Amini is worrying me at centre mid. Chabby. Chujic. Back to Chabby. Gets the ball into Gollard. Big Tim. <sighs> Unlucky for him. Unlucky from there. Big man. Chabby with the long throw. Saglan. Back to Chabby again. Oh. He was offside, but it. Didn't know where that was going there. One minute half time, not too bad. I am concerned um, a little bit about the fitness levels of some of the players. Rahimi as well looking a bit complacent, I don't like. So what we're going to do is going to bring on Visor in the ball and winning midfield role. And I think we're going to bring on Isik. I'm just going to have a quick look there, yeah. Yeah, we're going to bring on Isik for Rahimi because I don't like him being um, that worried. I was going to say to those guys that they've got, they've got a trust in them tonight, but I think we needed those two subs. I'm surprised some of the guys aren't tired up front, but they seem to be coping pretty well. Setting up beginning now, though. Pedrinho just plays it out. Let's see how we get on. Why is it clear, is it? But hard or... Ah! Kjartsson. Icelandic centre forward. They've definitely been the better team since we scored. I don't think they've been too bad, though. I think we've held our own, even though we're two no, even though we're uh, two on down. Let's see if we can do something here. Berisha, Krauchki, Jozik, back to Krauchki, pushing a bit forward. Tim, it doesn't really lead to anything, unfortunately. I'm just looking at some fitness levels. We have got three subs left. A nice recovery there from Gas at the Bukel. Long ball up the Tim. Saglam on the counter. Chabby. Doesn't lead to anything. I'm just going to say go standard here. Just to have that little bit of added, maybe that we could play it short. Um, I'm just going to make a couple of substitutions as well, just fitness wise. They are worrying me. So Fabio Fer is going to come on on the left-hand side as a winger. It's his weaker foot, but I think we can play him as an inverted winger. No problem. Strikers-wise, Tim is struggling a little bit fitness-wise. Um, so I think what we might do... 
is yeah i think we'll play a suset and we'll drop him down do you know what i was going to but i've just seen he's uninterested there so cave gun's gonna get a chance um in the pressing forward roll i think so we'll go with that if that doesn't work we can always bring him on uh Sisek, um with 10 or 15 minutes to go It would be nice if we could win the ball back there. Chabby. Back to Krauchki. Tim. Jozik. Back to Krauchki. Losing the ball visor there. And now they counter. Pedrinho. Three hits. That should have been three one of them. He's making some good saves here, Bukala, I must admit. I think the defence is just letting him down, unfortunately. Krautke's not having a good game. Goliard's struggling. What I think we might do is I think we'll bring on uh, Fabian Stober just for the last 13 minutes or so. Just say I've got faith in you. Corner to us though, Gollard. I've probably been calling him Gollyard. <laughs> Visor. I was hoping that'd be a free header. Oh, unlucky. Daglam there should really take advantage. Oh, I thought that was going to be free one, Chokhev. Set piece. I was worried. At least the corner didn't lead to anything. Can we hit them on the counter? They're playing quite high here. That is a brilliant effort. I'm not going to lie. Are we going to have one last attempt, maybe? Maybe. Collard with, with a corner. Collard with a corner. Saglam again. Kavgan. Bounces off. Berisha, can he keep it in? I think that's it, unfortunately, everyone. Two one, I don't think that's too bad a result to take back to Liechtenstein. I'm just gonna say it to them I'm proud of their efforts, even though it wasn't meant to be. I do realise we're gonna need we're gonna need to make some changes to that damn that starting eleven because there was some disappointing performances there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sim till the next game, which is in a week's time. And um, I will see you there. Hopefully we can get a victory and qualify for the third qualifying round. I'll see you in a bit. So just wanted to show you an update on the league table so far. So um, we're currently not playing at the moment due to being in Europe, but the league still is ongoing. Um, we've only got the one game, but it looks like Schaufhausen have taken an early lead in the table with the three, vic the three games that they played and the two victories there. Sion have just won their first game um, along with Fun and as well Examax. I think that's how you say it. They are second at the moment anyway in the league. They've just beat Bellinzona uh, 3-0, which is a good result for them. So... Um, We'll keep an eye on that, and um, of course we will update you when we play our next game in the Challenge League. We are back with the second leg of the qualifier round against CSK 1948. We are in Liechtenstein, just looking at a couple of the injury updates. Gajic won't be playing, unfortunately, he did get a bit of an injury. He might be on the bench though, um, but he won't be starting at least. Sisek could potentially feature, I think. Um, there is going to be some changes, I feel, to this team. Um, I'm going to go with what the assistant manager has said. Um, Krauchki, for me, didn't impress me at all in that game. He's not done particularly well. I also didn't like uh, Rahimi's performance in that last game, so he's going to drop for Isik. Um think as well Chabby is a little bit wasted on the left wing um he's much better as a pressing forward or an attacking forward 
Dojic and Tim Varian will probably remain as our number two strikers that we've got up front. Um, but I am going to make a change also with Sisek being available. I'm going to put him in for Charby there as well. I think the only other change I'm going to make as well is Saglam. Um, Fur will come in for that role on the right-hand side. Um, didn't play particularly well in the away leg. Yeah, Fur hasn't been playing particularly well for us, so it's a big test for him to stick a claim into the team. We are going to go with the 4-4-2. We're going to go positive. I think we might have to venture into 4-2-4 if things don't go our way in the first half, but we'll see. Hopefully that doesn't happen and we start well. I'm just going to go through the opposition instructions and then we'll get straight into the match. So yeah, again, we've got another positive sort of feedback from the system manager there going into the game. Hopefully that means good things going forward, but we'll see. Last time we um, we played somebody at home, we didn't do particularly well. Um, so hopefully home advantage this time can take account of that. I'm just going to send my assistant to these. I don't really enjoy doing them. But here we go. 442 for us, and I expect CS48 will do a 4231. I have to say, I am quite disappointed, but I'm not sure. The ground is not sold out. Shocking from uh, everybody in Lichtenstein like not to come to this game. Come on, for does. Let's see how we get on. Askalov makes it 3-1 straight away. And we're already under the cosh. Brilliant. That's not the start we needed. Now we need to score two goals. Emini's currently injured as well, which isn't great. Good catch from Bootle, though. We might have to take him off straight away. We'll see how he lasts. But we need somebody to be able to fight in that midfield. And uh, if he's injured, that's not going to be good for us. It looks like he's recovered though, okay. Goliard with a corner. Oh, Varian with a header. Big Tim. Emini with a good recovery there. Doesn't really lead to anything. I'm going to do another shout of encourage here. Fire us on. Oh, great ball. Varian through here. He scored. Dojic with the assist. We might have an offside here, though. We do have VAR in this. But the goal is awarded. Good for us. And that's come from a long ball from Bukel as well. That's what I try to do with a 4-4-2 with a wing play. It's a great header from Dojic. And Varian, it's a hit to deflection, but he'll, he will take the goal. 1-1. One, one. Kolyat to here. Nice little bit of play. Oh, great save from the keeper. Should have been 2-1, though. I mean, we haven't wanted to go for the 4-2-4 here. And we're still creating a lot of chances. They're under a lot of pressure here, CSK. Sophia. I thought I should say that because there's a lot of teams called CSK. Good catch from the keeper though. Long ball again from Bukel. Doesn't reach the area that I was hoping for and now they encounter Rusev here for CSK Sophia. It's gone into the box. We've recovered pretty well but They've still got possession. Oof, that was close. I am just going to make one slight change and we're going to tight mark Daskalov because he's creating a lot of chances. Luckily, that's hit the side netting. Pat de Gasser. Fair. Is that a penalty? Very, very faint penalty if I'm... If I must be saying. Nice recovery of possession though for us. Isik. Berisha. 
It's only yellow here. Keep that in mind for later, maybe. Sisek. Great ball in. Oh my god, Tim. If he gets that on target. That's what I mean about the wing play, though. Like, we've got so many big players up front. We've got to take advantage of that. Unfortunately, Pedrinho, it's come from Daskalov again. 4 2. This might be a little bit stretched too far for us, unfortunately. Pedrinho, he plays it back here, but Daskalov finds it through, and yeah. I mean, Bukel, Berisha should be doing better. It's half time now, 4 2 on aggregate. We've got a lot to do. I don't think we're going to have enough time. I think we're going to have to make some changes, though. Um, I wasn't going to go 4 2 4, but I think we will now. Um, I think, as well, what we will do is we'll bring on Saglam for fair because he hasn't turned up for whatever reason. I don't know why. Yeah, leave him on longer attack. Inside forward, I think, for Sisek. Um, Berisher for... We will give Rahimi a chance, but we've also got that option of Freiba. Um Crouchy could also come on as well. That's what I'm thinking. But we've got to go for it now. We have to. Um... 2-1 down, we need to score three goals to get through, two to take it extra time. It's not looking good though, everyone. I'm just going to go a little bit less direct. Here's Stover. It's a sec. Collard, Collard, get in Georgic, that's 2-2, that's two, two. we're back in it now. Brilliant little bit of player there down the left-hand side. Visor actually lost the ball, but it went back to Storbar, Sisek, simple pass in to Goliard. Nobody's marking Georgic. And it's 2-2. Two, two. If we could get a third... I'm going to leave Sussex on, even though he's uh, he's looking a little bit tired. Saglum? We need a goal. We need a goal. What I'm going to do, now that I've thought about it, as much as I want to keep him on, Charby's going to go there, and Tim Varian is going to be our wide target forward attack. It worked well in Lithuania. Let's just hope it works well here. We're going to give Chabby a game. Just another tall guy in the box. Hopefully you can take advantage of it. Doesn't lead to anything. Saglum. Brilliant ball in. Keep it just, it's there, unfortunately, in front of Jozik. He's not as tall as the other two guys that I mentioned there. That is a brilliant ball for them, but it doesn't lead to anything. So we get the ball back. Gassa. Saglum. Maybe hit some early crosses, I don't know. Visa, Georgic. I think we'll go a little bit more direct and we'll hit some early crosses because we've got a lot of tall guys in the box. I think Gasser will get made way here, I think, just as a wing back on support. And we've made all of our substitutes now. Just see if we can get extra time if possible. Variant, Adjurjic, Goliard, Shabby's through. He finishes. Is it offside though? I thought it was okay. Come on, boys. We're back on level terms. Can we get a last minute winner?
yes, we will go with the changes. And I think we will go... I was about to go attacking there. I think we will do now, though. So fell by Charby. Ooh, that was not good from Rusev. That was very nervous. Five minutes of extra time. It's a kick from their goalkeeper. Isik. Charby. Crouchkey to Charby. Saglam. Brilliant ball in. Oh my goodness, Jojic. You'd have just put that away. We'd have been dancing in the streets of it does. Anyway, we've gone extra time again, guys and gals. Keep going. Keep working hard. I have faith in you. I am going to say, yeah, to everyone, keep going. Keep going. We can do this. We've got another 30 minutes of football to play. We are looking a little bit tired. And Visor, is that a red? I was worried it was. It looked like a really bad injury there. Just curious to see who we've got subs wise. Maybe Fossil or Kavgen. We'll see. I was just looking down the bottom there, guys. I thought it'd be easier than just going to the subs bench. Chabi, Jozik. We're going to stay on this attacking mentality. We might as well. It could be a straighter substitution, I don't know. I also have to bear in mind we've got um, potential penalties as well. So we do need to keep that in mind. And I've said that, and now they've got a corner. Luckily it doesn't lead to anything. Right, so I'm going to have a quick look just at penalties to see who is on the bench. If anybody, Kavgan looks like he's on the bench. For somebody, maybe... Maybe Jojic, but Jojic's all right. Um, what we could do... What we could do is we could take off Saglam, who hasn't been playing very well. We will put Charby on the wing as a rum and deuter. I know that sounds mad, and I've probably butchered that as well, but bear with me. Kevin as a poacher. And let's just see what happens. And let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Just a fresh... 15 minutes. Whatever happens, happens. Being the better team in the second half anyway. So. And we are creating a lot of chances from this wing player. But that is worrying that he's now got the ball, Pedrinho. I do like the look of him, to be fair. Good intercession from Stieber. Stober. Oh my god, that should have been um that should have been game over. I think Stober is knackered. Oh no. Yep, Stober's injured. We got no subs left. Do we get a chance to even have a look at this? Uh Tim? No, what we'll do is we will put Visor in as centre defend. Um, no nonsense pull back for Rahimi. Um, <laughs> Goliard just be the DLP the mate on defend, and we will go cautious. And I think we will drop really deep here. And we'll just no, we won't waste some time, but let's just let's just go with it. I'm not confident, boys and girls. I'm not confident, everyone. I think it's going to be penalties. No, don't say that. Don't say that, game legend. Do not say that. We have made it a penalties, though. CSK taking the lead. Variant, get in. Go 
Pedrinho. I do worry now. Cavekin. I had a slight worry that that we were gonna that he was gonna miss it. Card Garen. Face K. He's missed it. He has missed it. Goalkeeper's just laughing at him now. <laughs> I've not seen that before. Visor. Come on, boys. You can do this. Visor. We go ahead. Foot off. Just gone in. Golliard, a man from Young Boys. Can you do it? Ah, he's missed it. Nightmare. It was a good save, though. Bukal needs to do us a favour now. Kirliov. Shabby with a final penalty of the five. Brought him on. He did some very good stuff for us in the game. He scored. Pressure's all back on them now. Good penalty. Jojic, my man. Oh, he's missed it, nightmare, no. That's got in. My man, Jojic. Ah. To lose on penalties is so annoying. So we are out of Europe for this season at least. But um yeah, I think if we look at the numbers, I think we did ourselves really well there. Um I don't think we did bad at all. But it does give us the focus now to um to look into the uh the challenge league. We have not got the distraction of the conference league to focus on, so We'll go ahead and we will push forward, shall we say, into um into the into the season. We have been given um around six hundred grand, I believe. Um, which has helped the balance a little bit there, which is quite nice. So I'm probably gonna do the remaining games offline. Uh those against Ville, Stad Noir, Barden and Bellinzona. And then we'll be back for the Zamax game and we'll maybe get another game in there involved as well. Um, if there's any transfers as well, we'll also update you in that video. So unfortunately, we didn't get through against CSK Sofia, but we have started well in the Challenge League. I hope you did enjoy the video and please make sure to give it a like and a subscribe. And we will see you for the next video against Zamax. Take it easy, stay safe. Bye, everybody.